I've gone a bit mad and I've got a lot of books to haul so I'm going to split them into genres and do a few different book hauls so be prepared you'll see a few of them popping up on my channel. This is the first of four and um, this is by far the largest haul and it is a horror and thriller haul. Could be a long video so I'm just going to crack straight into it. This is a horror and thriller haul. As usual all books will be linked down below so I'm just going to grab them in in no particular order and um, the first one that I've got is this one. This, this is The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty and um, this is a Folio Society version. The Folio Society recently had a sale and um, I had had my eye on this for a long time. It is beautiful. The dust cover jacket that it comes with actually has, um, I don't know if you can see it, there it's coming up. Um, it's sort of embossed, sort of spookily written The Exorcist on it and um, I mean I've read this before, it's not a book I haven't read before but um, I really wanted this one because as I say it's a beautiful version of it and um, it has some amazing illustrations in it, wait till I find one. Of course I've just jumped past them all. Here's one. And there's illustrations like that all the way through the book so this is absolutely stunning and um, every now and then I like a really nice copy of a book that I already own um, and I have already given away my old copy of The Exorcist so I uh, can't wait to read this with the illustrations in it. Sorry I should have said if you don't know what The Exorcist is about it's the book that inspired the film The Exorcist and it's about a young girl called Reagan who um, gradually becomes possessed by a demon and um, they're the priest that tries to sort of break the cycle basically so it's a true horror not a thriller. The next book that I've got is another one from the Folio Society and this is the Folio book of Ghost Stories and um, this is another one that's really really beautiful. The cover is very creepy and it's got some lovely illustrations as well. It's a collection of short horror stories and there's all these really pretty illustrations inside. And so again it's a horror. The Folio Society books aren't cheap but these ones were on sale um, and as I say I do sometimes really like um, nice books to add to my collection. So the next book that I've got is this one. This is The Collector by Fiona Cummins. This sounds like another horror and um, this says Jakey escaped with his life and moved to a new town. His rescue is a miracle but his parents know that the Collector is still out there watching and waiting. Clara, the girl he left behind, dreams of being found. Her mother has fallen apart but she will not give up hope. The Bone Collector has a new apprentice to take over his family's legacy but he can't forget the boy who got away and the detective who destroyed his dreams. D.S. Ella Fitzroy must hunt him down before his obsession destroys them all. This sounds really creepy and scary and I can't wait to get around to it. Next up we've got a thriller. This is The Lie by C.L. Taylor. This is about Jane Hughes who has everything. She's got the perfect partner, she's got the perfect home, she's got the perfect job. And um, the only problem is that Jane Hughes doesn't exist. Five years earlier Jane and her friend were on a holiday and um, they were on the holiday of a lifetime. But something happened. So she's trying to put the past behind her but someone out there knows what happened and someone out there is determined to rip her whole life apart. This sounds like the type of thing I enjoy. I do enjoy a good psychological thriller so I'm interested to see what this one holds. The next week that I've got is this one. This is The Lost Child by Emily Gunness. This is about Rebecca and Rebecca was only 13 when she saw her mum lose her life at the hands of her father. But the question is what else did Rebecca see? Many years later Rebecca has two daughters of her own and they both know that her mother will never talk about that fateful night. However, at one point one of Rebecca's daughters goes missing with her newborn infant who's quite sickly and then the remaining sister realises that her mother's past may hold the key to what's happened to her sister. So then she has to unravel the past unlock the secrets to Seaview Cottage and find out just what happened in her mother's life. Next I've got The Perfect Wife by J.P. Delaney. I really enjoy J.P. Delaney's books. I've read a few of them and um, so I'm excited to give this one a go. J.P. Delaney is one of the masters of the sort of the domestic thriller and this one sounds no different. This is about Abby who wakes up in a hospital bed. She's got no memory of how she got there but her husband Tim is by her bedside waiting for her to wake up. Now, Tim is, um, let's see, what does it say he does? He is the driven British founder of one of the world's most grand breaking tech companies and they met when she joined a startup as an artist in residence and the marriage was a fairy tale. However, as parts of her memories start to come back, she starts to wonder just what Tim might be hiding because um, she discovers that five years previously she was actually pronounced dead. I can't wait to see where this one goes because I've enjoyed all of J.P. Delaney's uh, previous books that I've read. Next up I've got Part of the Family and this is by Charlotte Philby. This was previously published under a different name. It was previously published as The Most Difficult Thing so if you've already got that book and you've already read it you'll know what this one is about. 
This is about Anna, who is seemingly living the perfect life also, and she is married to, a, to her university sweetheart, and they live in a beautiful house now, and they've got twin three-year-old daughters called Stella and Rose, and they've got a wonderful nanny who's practically part of the family. However, Anna's hiding a secret, a secret that threatens to unravel her entire life, and it says that in order to protect her children, she has to betray them. So I can't figure out where this is going to go, I'm really excited to read it. Again, I do love a good domestic thriller. Next up we've got this one, this is A Place of Execution by Val McDermott. So this is all set in the Peak District, and it says that in the Peak District, 13 year old girls don't just run away. So in the summer of 63, was it in the, oh no sorry, in the winter of 63, um, Alison Carter vanished and everybody knew it was a murder. Some years later Catherine Heathcote was a child at the time and she remembers the fear around the missing girl and she remembers the fear of the parents teaching the children to be really scared of strangers but now she's a grown up herself but she still really remembers the case. However she's now a journalist and she persuades a detective to talk about the case about all of the leads that went nowhere but during this time a new lead appears and the detective tries to shut down the story which it says plunges Catherine into a world of buried secrets and revelations. So this one's a crime thriller and I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes and what happens. And the final book that I've got here is this one. This is The Heat Wave by Katharina Diamond. And this says that two bad things happened that summer. A stranger arrived and the first girl disappeared. So it says, in the wake of a crime that rocked her community, Felicity fled, knowing more than she let on. But 16 years later, her life is shattered when she hears that a second girl has gone missing in her hometown. So she has to come back to face the truth of what happened all those years ago. And it says that only she knows the answers, and um, the truth is more shocking than anybody can imagine. This sounds like a really fun summer read, so I'm looking forward to getting around to it. Hopefully I'll get it read this summer. So there we go, that was quite a mammoth thriller and horror haul. Um, let me know if you've read any of them, let me know if you're going to, and um, I'll speak to you all soon in the next haul video. Hopefully I'll be able to slot some other videos in between so you're not just hit with haul after haul after haul, but um, I have a few haul videos to film so you're going to be seeing them. So I will see you then. Bye for now.